Dean, first defeat of the season. As how do you sum that one up today? Todd Dagen and walked our socks off, kept going. Uh, got a little bit of luck at the end with the goal, obviously deflection. Um, four score was always going to be important because they're low in confidence. But as the game kept going on, they seemed to grow, grow in confidence, and I don't think we reached our levels. Maybe that's down to them uh, stopping us doing that. But I only think Danny Collins reached the level that he's been playing at this season so far. Everybody else needs to have a good look in the mirror. Um, obviously, first, it's only the first defeat today, but still second in the table. And we got Epsley on Monday. How important is it to make sure that morale doesn't drop after one one defeat and to go again on Monday? It won't drop, but when we set standards like we have, we have to adhere to them. Um, we well, just hard today with a lack of quality. There was a great chance. Was Pritchard had an unbelievable opportunity one on one with the goalie. He's got to score really, um, especially if you know Pritch is a good finisher. We didn't really muster up a lot. They didn't muster up a lot either. And I did some effort, some distance. Um, but look, the harder they walk, the luckier they got in the end. So we give them credit, but I have to say, from the standards we've set ourselves, we were way off it today. So, but, you know, listen, maybe we missed Steady. Um, I didn't think Nicky had his greatest game, I have to be honest with you. I thought the two centre halves handled him with ease, really, to be, to be totally honest. I, I think Steady might have, if we put him up there with Nicky today, maybe he could have ran the channels a little bit better. That's what Steady does. So, look, no excuses. The best team won the game of football, and we just got to move on to the next game. Obviously, the next game is now Monday, only 48 hours. How do you prepare, uh, obviously, such a quick turnaround in between two games? Yeah, we'll obviously watch the game back on the way back. We'll debrief it tomorrow morning um, and we'll train and start preparing for Epsley. We've done the preparation on that as well. Need to watch their game back against Kitty today, but I know they played against 10 men for 60 minutes, so that's good for them. Um, but look, there's no easy games in their division. You know? Not many teams come here and win. So, And uh, obviously, the management team know the division as well. So. For us, look, just got to focus on to the next game. It's a long season, it is a marathon, and uh, hopefully we don't have too many days like this. Obviously, away from the game today, Dominic Revan and Musa Diara both gone on loan. Uh, is that just to get them some game time, some minutes? Well, if you look at Dom's pre-season, he did the first four weeks, and then he was out for another four weeks, so he needs to go out and play games to get up game fitness. And Moose has sort of found himself down the pecking order at the football club. And uh, I think it's better for him to go play football. So we've had that straight conversation. And uh, he's gone out and loan, so he knows Dows really well. So it's good for both players. They need to go play games. And just finally, 400 Barnet fans made the trip today. What's your message to them tonight? Well, good for them. They were unbelievable uh, for us today. You know, they were driving us forward. I'm just, uh, I feel for them a little bit. I don't think the players did, did them justice today. Um, I don't want to criticise the players too much, but with the standards we've set, that's not good enough today. So. Um, no way, I wouldn't say I apologise, we've just got to move on to the next game and let them get behind us at the Hive. So, look, we go again Monday and uh, let's see if we can get on the front foot and get back to them standards we've set already. Dean, thank you for your time.